My name is Sebastian and in this video I want to explain why on earth I created yet another task management application. This topic of how to manage our tasks and our time sounds, I know, very boring but is also a very important one to get more effective as software developers and this is something what I spend a lot of time on to think, okay, how can we manage ourselves in a more effective but also more pragmatic way because the truth is that nobody likes to use all these complex and cumbersome applications, right? And most task management applications that are out there lack two things. Uh, one is first of all a fast and really efficient usability concept where I can use my keyboard, where I can use the program as fast as I can think, right? We're really fast at editing code and all that stuff as developers, but then if we need to use something like Google Calendar to put in our, uh, our time, to fill in our time slots, that's just too cumbersome. And the second thing is we want a proper combination of a to-do list and a calendar timeline where we actually take uh, the tasks that are really important to us and somewhat assign them into our timeline to block the time in our calendar. Why? Because, well, the things that we're working on should ideally be much more uh, important than a, a semi-important uh, meeting, maybe. And so I think we should reserve time for that first to really make sure that all that stuff gets done. And in the previous video, I showed how to pragmatically and effectively uh, managing our tasks as developers. So you can use multiple approaches, but I want to show you why I created this one, Day Captain, uh, which is uh, a now publicly uh, available program how to do your own personal time management and to plan your day. And it's especially created not necessarily for developers only, but for people who want to efficiently use that, who want to use the keyboard and follow all these, well, principles that we actually like as developers. For example, to well, have an efficient usability, to have very fast response times, and also to manage our tasks in a somewhat, I would say, efficient and pragmatic way. So I literally am using this now all the time. I created it originally for myself and um, now uh, with a friend of mine started a business uh, with, with that. This is how the uh, UI looks and um, how you basically can, can use it. And this is the recommended way I show, I'm showing you some keyboard here that I literally use my keyboard to navigate through it. A little bit like a computer game or a little bit like Vim, right? So if I create a new task to say, well, do this thing today and do that later and do something else, I just create task in this, what is called daily uh, task list. Why? Because, well, I, sh I showed this before, because I want to have um, a list that is only for today or for tomorrow or for this week, but not, you know, a never ending to do list with 50 plus entries. And then of course, I would like to use my keyboard to resort them or to maybe to assign some project. And of course, to drag and drop them into the timeline. So I could, you know, do something like, um, use the mouse, but really who wants to use the mouse to do that? Of course, I would like to use the keyboard to move that around. Why? Because it's so much faster and I can, you know, do this uh, quite quickly. And then I can go and plan, you know, my whole day in literally a minute or two minutes or maybe five minutes, but it's really fast and it's really convenient. And I think easy to use after you get over this initial learning curve, a little bit like the Vim editor, if you're familiar with that, it really helps a lot. And if you invest the time, you get really, really productive. And that's why I created that, um, first of all, literally for myself, and I'm using it um, uh, all the time. And I'm also happy to share that and to, well, explain why we uh, basically came up. So we is, um, I actually, created a business uh, around that with a, f a friend of mine, that's us. And now we're, we're happy to officially launch this and make this uh, publicly available. Um, you can uh, try it out uh, for free for 14 days. Um, you might ask, why is it not fully for free? Well, actually, if you know you use such things, so either, um, well, either you pay for it or you're the product. And we believe that especially this type of data that you put in is very personal and should be uh, treated accordingly. And, you know, we literally, we treat the data like uh, we would our own to be treated. So I think this is a very, very important uh, topic. 
and um, it is again also made for developers so uh, so kind of like developers as a first class citizen so for example it it, it offers some uh, restful api um, i myself use a, a command line script to do something like um, well um, add some tasks to it. So for example, while I'm working and I don't want to get distracted, opening up the program, seeing up what's later there, and you know, then I'm immediately in this distracted kind of mode. But I basically say, why, why just add it to the inbox and that's it. And now it's there. And uh, then later on, I can just go and uh, take the task and you know, do something with it and move it accordingly. So if you want to learn more about that, I um, can show you some more resources, but just in general, this is uh, somewhat the concept that we follow and we uh, think or actually we know that this is very, very uh, productive uh, because we've been using that uh, now for uh, for quite a while just for ourselves and it really helps us uh, being more effective on how to well, plan our day, how to manage our time and well, how to use a program just without all this cumbersome usability. So. As the previous uh, video where I was talking about um, just task management for developers, I was um, mentioning some principles that you would that you ideally would like to follow. So for example, to start with a blank page to say today or tomorrow, when you go over that day, you don't want to be spoiled with all these things that are in your head already. You say, okay, starting from zero, what is the most important thing? and add that, right? And then sort them pri by priority. And ideally, you can do this as fast as you can think. And what I just showed you, you can uh, use um, a keyboard approach, for example, like that, right? Or you mouse uh, if you want, but I claim you're much faster using the keyboard. Like in a computer game, you can quickly navigate. And um, then also to prioritize these tasks and more importantly, to assign the time. Really block the time in your a calendar in your timeline to say now I'm going to work on this and nothing else and that's it and then you can um, assign it accordingly ideally when you plan your day you leave some time in between of course some buffers right and then you can you know adjust them as you go um, which is also very fast if you have a nice uh, keyboard concept and then you have a nice history as well if you look at you know uh, one week prior what did I work on and that's just so helpful to see that and after a while, and I literally have been using that approach for over four years now, I can zoom back to 2017 and say on this day, what did I do? Well, let's find out. And there you go. You literally have your whole day and what you, uh, what you were working on on that time, which is really, really helpful. And even just for the last month. So these are some of the things that really help. There's some more uh, features in it. For example, how to plan your day. It helps you reviewing and getting an overview uh, over, over your week. And yeah, feel free to try that out. I'll be very happy to get some more feedback or to answer some questions. And yes, I'm really excited to share that with you. It would be cool if you try that out. So thanks a lot for watching and bye.